Okay, we're out at uh, the Dinsmore Hutterite Colony. And this is what I've been talking to you about. One of the guys uh, that runs the welding shop has uh, done a bunch of turbo work for me. And we're just going to come in here and I'll uh, show you what we've done or what, uh, what Will has done here. And he can maybe I'll ask him a few questions and he can answer me. Okay, Will, you, you came out of the engine with what size of pipe there? Uh, two inch. Two inch? No, it's uh, actually inch and a half ID. Inch and a half inside, and then you went to what? To a two and a half. To a two and a half? Going into a turbo. Right. Into our uh, turbo, and then our wastegate. We're, uh, what, we're 50 millimeter there, right? That was two inch? Mm, it's, I don't think it's quite two inch. Not quite, just no. under there. Yeah, okay. And then our wastegate, and we come out the top. Will insisted that... Uh, rather than run two pipes, he wanted to make it flow, so uh, we did it the way that it should be done. And uh, we're gonna, we ran it all, he ran it all back into the one, so I'm happy with that. All we have to do is the end here now. This is, uh, what size this top is? Just about three? Two and seven eighths? It's two and seven eighths, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then we're gonna get out to the end. We haven't, he hasn't done anything with this yet. Uh, not, en not enough rain to hold them up, I guess. But uh, he's going to do a little bit. We just want to, we just want to change the angle a little bit here so that it's shooting straight out, or not straight out, just, just away from the bike a bit. Uh, I'm really happy with the way things turned out down here. This is, uh, to me, this is really special. Things are tight. Like, yeah, it, how much did you have there? Well, they're, they're very tight, like it took a little while to figure things out, so like between those uh, vacuum things, there's most spots is only eighth of an inch to work with, Yeah. but everything can be disassembled very easily. Mm -hmm. But we had to make a tight so a turbo is tucked in towards the engine to mm -hmm. give a little more, to give the rider a little more room there. Right. We would have to, I guess, build a, a shield over the turbo. Yeah. Cover the boys up, eh? Yeah, to need not be fried. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to maybe change. Well, maybe we'll be able to build something here so that I yeah, can we'll keep just, my throttle. Just make too, a bracket right? to uh, take the screw yeah. out. Yeah. And build a bracket. Yeah. I tried it. The throttle works just great. Uh, it doesn't bind. No, it doesn't bind. Yeah. You, you don't really don't notice nothing with it. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah. I was a little off on my guess here with the elbow, but uh, look how perfectly straight that it ended up with with the length that we have. Like, I'm just I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I, you, know, you, you could almost see that the offset was it lock or what? But it's, it, the offset from the intake is perfect, except the length. Of it. Yeah, it just worked out nice. Eh? And all I did really was sat it on that pail at home, eh? And, uh, yeah. Well, the turbo is centered to the engine. Yeah. So that's the way things happen. Yeah. Yeah, it worked really well that way. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And I'm glad we uh, that I went with the blue. Actually, it was getting pretty red, eh? Yeah. I think that set it off different. pretty good. Yeah. It makes it look more complicated. Yeah. The oil lines they have blue ends on them too, so that'll be cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with this wheel. Uh, 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 you're doing a snap-on job here for yeah, me. Yeah, it still has to work in the end. Oh, it'll go. It'll go. We'll have some movies going here and we'll show everybody what it'll do. Also, uh, Will's taking time to uh, build these brackets to hold my fuel vessels. I'll just try to... Do we have a little bit of light there? Maybe? You can tell us what well, you need. the other made. side might be better for Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe... Uh, so? Sure. Yeah, there's one of them. There we go. Yeah, that's good. You can just explain to them what you did there, what you used. And well, it just, uh, it's 14 gauge stainless rule to a half round to the diameter of your cylinder with a bottom, a total round bottom, and there's two quarter inch around the brackets at the back right. to make sure it doesn't whip sideways with 516 bolts drilled through the frame. There you go. So it's really nice and rigid. And it is. I like simple. that too. Put the bottle in. It just needs a couple of over-center clamps uh, 
yeah. to to keep it secure. Yeah. Yeah, with the two new bottles that I got, that'll look shiny. shiny. Yeah, looks good. Uh, that's and it's. I, I'm glad it's it's out a little bit further than the way I had them racked in there before, and it, it gives me a lot more room up yeah. here. Right? Well, I had I was gonna mount it between the two between the two pipes, but uh, it really yeah. didn't work out the way I wanted to mount it. So they had to come out a little more and towards the. I had to clear the handle steer, opening the yeah. had, had to clear the steer. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I had them so that they were just barely below, and they, you could turn them, but it wasn't yeah. easy. It was kind of, you had to fumble with them. And well, that seems to be a decent spot for them. Yeah. There's not much other spots left. No, that that's great. I'm, I'm just really pleased with that. Need one of them wire bicycle baskets on the front, though, so you can take your lunch. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we need any lunch I'd be doing won't be with sandwiches. <laughs> you might need <laughs> you might be needing a radiator protector too. Well, you know, I, I thought maybe I when I came I thought maybe you would have noticed that and had one made already, but I knew you need I, some stainless uh, I remember that but I never I never metal. haven't never haven't gotten to that yet. Yeah. I I'd like you to do that. I, I think if we come out just uh well, kind of like we talked about, enough so that it's bowed out a little bit. Yeah. You might have to tacky something on here, I don't know. We'll have to be kind, fairly kind with that. I don't think it's too light or too heavy. No, it's... Well, if I had to weld something, if I took it out to the welder, it can be welded. Yeah. Put it this way. Yeah. It, it probably would be the best bet us to make weld something on there. I think probably the uh, same deal, man. You do what you got to do. Uh, you, 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 you've got the feel for it now. You know what I'm after. So just enjoy yourself and play with it. And whatever you come up with, I, I know is going to be just fine. Well, everything's so tight in here. It's only so and so many ways a guy can do things. Yes. And, and you know what? When I, I thought it was tight when I first started putting my propane stuff on. I yeah. was crying. Oh, it's, I'm running out of room, man. I've put I don't know how many components on there since. And, and we still got room. You know, we could add more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as you don't want to add nothing on the turbo, between the turbo and your, and your vacuum tube, there is nothing. There is no room there. There's no place for the no. nitrous fall. I guess put that behind the seat. Nitrous bottle? No, I sent the nitrous stuff back last year. I don't want to blow it all up. Well, we could always tap the turbo on the way in and make them suck it in. You know, I was looking at turbos today. I was looking at some on John Deere's, and they're smaller than this one. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're two by three. This one's, mm -hmm. what, three by four or something, eh? Yeah, it's it's bigger than a guy would think for this yeah. size of an inch. Yeah. Well, but what you're doing here is not the... It's not normal not, either. No. <laughs> We're not normal. <laughs> I'm, I should say, I'm not normal. If you go on YouTube, there's a guy there that makes dead engines out of car turbos. Yeah. He, feed, he feeds them uh, what do you think, boss? propane. Is it going to work? And, you and think so? They get so hot that they just blow up eventually. What's they, your they name? They won't take the heat. Exactly. They, exactly. They, That's right. Spin and the big awesome. flame coming out. Just sounds exactly like that. Oh, you got a different hat than everybody make, else. Make them work backwards. Yeah. Well, the only way it probably, uh, the only reason it probably disintegrates is because it's, uh, it's not, not it's made, overheated. It's, it's, it's not made to do that. It's simply fed too much right. fuel. Don't worry, Will. I only got your foot there. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm happy with the way things are turning out here. I, I think my uh, engineer from Australia will be happy with it too. Uh, I'm going to get this up and on YouTube as soon as I can. So, he, Oh, and there's a piece of hose for us. Uh, one of the guys just come running in here. Extension. So we've got her made. It's just about the same color. It's a little you. off though, uh, you know. <laughs> I got a spray bomb on me, don't worry about it. Is that the right size? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's huh? so it is darn close. Perfect. Yeah, this is the stuff. Right on. Yeah, so all you gotta do is make a stub and bring, yep. them, bring them up far enough that you can. So that we can help. You know, uh, maybe while you're at this, without being too 
small here maybe take as much give me as much pipe as I can have mm -hmm. because I do have to have a blow off valve somewhere and that might be the only place I can move it yeah it's to release the pressure out of the mixer like when I let go of the throttle there's going to be 15 pounds pressure or whatever in there and it's going to think that it still needs more fuel okay yeah, so yeah. we have to blow that pressure off so that it doesn't flood itself yeah. out and load up there and what do we got there? Oh, that's not for us. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I put this through your turbo, yeah, you <laughs> all your problems will be solved. You do that, so will yours. <laughs> you will never Quick have question. to worry about Quick anything question. anymore. <laughs> this bullet's in his bearing for my chair. For your chair? Yeah, I'm making the wife a rocking chair. Oh, I get more out making of, it for your I'll own. get more out of that rocking chair for the wife than you'll get out right this bike. I guess you're right. Okay. I guess you're right. I'm gonna put a lot of this bullet. I'm gonna take a little bit off here. I'm gonna put it against the bearing here so that it's nice and even. And then I'm gonna weld it in here. I won't weld it. <laughs> well, every every two months I gotta take the chair apart. The bolts are loose. The bolts so are loose. the tread is loose. Not the bolts. I will I will fix the tread. <laughs> I'm gonna buy tread locker. First things I wanna do is spot weld this bearing so that bolt never moves. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> You're gonna spot weld that bearing. You know we're gonna have your complaints all over the world here now, eh? So everybody. The part, I, the part I like best is it's gonna get more out of that rocket chair than you can get yeah. on the motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> should have told, should have told you that. Tell you what, I don't need. Don't you don't, don't care. Better than you will. Guarantees seriously. Yeah, I'm happy. You take, you take that bolt. And you weld the piece of shaft so on the right kind side. Kind of concerned about there. getting the boots in the turbo, but and the side you, you can actually. The only way we can. It's a little shorter this. here, but well, you can get it in. It's, yeah. a, it's a little this, this hassle, this but. That's right on. It's, it's not something you do every day. It's hold on a so no, it is. So so once it's assembled, it should be good. It's a lot easier than some of the stuff will when I build my front motor mounts and that. They're so tight in here, like it takes me a long time to get the bolts started. So now what I want to do is. You can do it, but you know it's tight. No, I like this. Like I have a guard that here, comes so here too, and okay. so now this will all be protected from the wire. Sure, it'll miss. This bolt. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Now I take if it, if for it me won't to sit under two hundred pounds. I, have to. Yeah. I can no, weld this not. enough. I was going to bring so it over, and I thought never move. You and keep it and I'll make the shield fit after that. You're welding the bearing material so hard. It would have been too late anyway. Just rebel, and it's not going to miss. But yeah, if you want to build a shield yeah. around why, why there, am I not going to be free? something okay. simple, so you know, we'll just, there and just to keep the heat. The nut is on yeah. there. Yeah, well, there. well you, you, just uh, this part of the turbo. You know, you just need to do. Or you right. want to cover everything, or just simply right this part here? Yeah, just I need a I need we can make the cold side. I, I can make a half round, yeah, a half round connected to do this, but do the, like a bend in, yeah. so connected to the washer. Glass. It won't vibrate on there, right? Eh? No, I'll make it a bit heavy. Okay. When you got that right. done, it's take any bolt, ordinary bolt, and just weld it. If it does, we just have but to this head has to slide maybe the have it touch so a touch of turbo on one spot. Put a cover over it if you've ever yeah, seen okay. it. Yeah, okay. So it's kind of sure. sure. just sit and just solid. Put a little bit but of pressure on it. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Well, yeah. I've got, okay. got a counter uh, sink if you've never seen no matter. Like I said, I'm I'm happy with what yeah. you've done and just carry so on and do whatever it is. Well, because you it's not even going to be there. You're on the right course. You're on the right course. I know what you want to do. We'll this this just do it the way we think. Okay, you can put this on here. Yeah. Bolt this on inside. This is where it's nice and tidy. This bearing goes into. It's all. It's a work of art. We'll a ball on the chair. By the time it's all done and together. That the hood is this sharp, deep eh? with a, with yeah, a counter it, uh, board, so it slips in. Yeah. I should so try and make it as compact as possible and, and still uh, yeah. serve its purpose. Yeah, but right? you don't need yeah. any space because all you and need maybe, is you know, like I'm not going to spend any saying? more big money no. on engine okay. stuff than that, right but maybe I'll build a, a housing for it, you know, a cover, yeah, a fiberglass yeah. cover I or something. I need this bolt. Okay, thanks, I appreciate it, man.